okay, here's Michal. So I decided to take up the challenge and do some editing um, on the Netcoast image using Snapseed. So we are on the main screen, the image is already loaded. Uh, I turned my iPhone to the horizontal mode so that you can see more of the screen. Okay, the first thing that I want to tackle is that kind of um, dark spot uh, in the bottom left corner. Uh, and here we have two little details and if I only do it, uh, if I only try to increase the overall brightness, it won't work uh, too well. So I will use another technique for that. I, I will now press the plus sign in the bottom right corner to add a new edit and I will choose the edit that is called, uh, that is a new edit, tonal contrast. And that is actually a very interesting edit. I now swipe my finger left um, up and down to select the option and then I will swipe um, left and right to basically adjust the value. This is this is actually increasing the contrast in various tonal ranges of the picture and I will I will start with low low tones. I will just make it up to 100 before and after. So you see we have brought quite a lot of information in the in the shadows. I like it very much. Um, I will now go to mid-tones. We'll also increase it to 100. I will now see before and after. Brought a lot of detail, a lot of texture in the clouds. And also in the in the in the vegetation. And high tones. And I also up it to 100. And that mainly affected the skies. Now this is of course a little bit too strong. So I will just re reduce it to maybe 50 for high tones. I will reduce it also to 50 for mid tones. And I will reduce it to um, 75 maybe for low tones. Uh, 74, 75, doesn't matter too much before and after. Okay, so the city is kind of mainly untouched, but we uh, got a lot of details in the in the skies and also a little bit details in the shadows. So that's good. Now I will use another thing that is called protect shadows, where we can actually slide it to the right. And as you can see, we are getting the details there on the bottom left corner. That is very amazing. And 100 is certainly too much. Before and after, it's too much. It is too bright. It doesn't look natural, so I basically reduce it to maybe 40. Before and after. Okay, it is enough to, so that we can see those uh, branches and a little bit of the leaves and so on. Okay, I leave it like that. Now, the second thing was that I wanted to add it a little bit of a sort of sunset feel and those clouds, I mean, we can see that this is possibly some afternoon and those clouds are, are a little bit kind of yellow shaded, but it's it's not enough for me. So I add another edit that is called Tune Image and here I would just uh, move to slider called uh, Warmth and add a tiny bit of warmth, maybe something like 40. 40 is good, I think, yeah. 70, no, 50, I think I add 50. Now you can see that actually I made the, also the city sort of yellowish and that that's not really what I want. So what I will do now, I will uh, accept it and now I will click this little, uh, this little two icon that is next to the save, uh, next to the save button on the top right. That brings me to stacks. Stacks are actually a very powerful concept in the new Snapseed because they uh, allow you to mainly redo or otherwise modify your previous edits. So I go to Tune Image here, I, I click on that and I click on the uh, middle icon with this brush and basically it allows me to selectively brush the effect uh, onto the image. So I'm just using my finger to paint on the sky and you can see when, when I'm painting it kind of gets this kind of yellow tint type of thing 
and actually the city stays untouched. I can click on the on the eyeball to really see of uh, where did I paint it. I maybe do some a little bit. Oh, that is a little bit too much. So I just remove it to zero, and now I paint it like this. Okay, that's fine. That's superb. Uh, apply, and I close the stack screen to go to the main screen. Now that's good, but it's a little bit too. Still, uh, I wanna I wanna more dramatic sky basically there. So what I will do is that I will, I will use an, also a new uh, uh, a new tool that is called brush. And I will actually use the brush that is called Exposure Brush, and you can actually paint exposure. That is very very cool. And I will just use the. Uh, I want to darken it, so I would say 0 0.7 exposure. And I will now uh, a little bit uh, minimize the picture, and you can see that the brush is kind of getting very very big. And what I will do now is kind of magic. You know, I will just swipe it on the sky area and watch what happens. Wow, not too bad, no? Okay, that is a little bit too strong, so I reduce it to 0 0.3 and I will just repaint it. Okay, not too bad. I will increase it so that you can see of what we have done there before and after. Before and after. Okay, wow, that is really good. Uh, so I will apply it. Now I realize that with this uh, darkening, uh, maybe there is a little bit. Uh, I would need to add a little bit more yellow cast to the to the sky still. So I will go to my stacks and I will go to tune image when I was using the warmth and will add just a tiny bit. I click on edit. This is the rightmost button. I will just add a tiny more bit of warmth, maybe to six, to maybe to sixty. That actually is very very nice, and that is actually what would satisfy me. So now the last look before I started the editing and after. So how do you like it? Uh, I hope you do, and I hope that also Natko likes it. Uh, let's see what I can show you next time.